Orville disaster and evacuations have Kern County asking just how safe the aging Isabella Lake Dam is right now for us. 23 ABC's Brandon Johansson is live there now answering that very question for us tonight. Brandon. Yeah, Jackie, with everything going on up in Orville, we want to check on the status of our dam here in Kern County. Right behind me here is the base of the Isabella Lake Dam. That is the outflow coming out right there. It's been increased to about 1,800 cubic, cubic feet per second rather today. They've been increasing it all day today. That's both in preparation for the coming, uh, the coming winter storm that's coming up at the end of this week, but also it's just to be safe. Julie Martinez has a pretty important job. We're paid to be concerned about that kind of thing. You know, that's why we're up here. She's the resident engineer on the upcoming Lake Isabella Dam Construction Project, a job that now seems more important than ever. For the Army Corps of Engineers, it's the number one dam for potential problem in the country. So that's, that's why I'm here. Martinez and her coworkers are keeping an even closer eye on the Lake Isabella Dam these days, especially after issues with the Oroville Dam nearly 400 miles north of here resulted in the evacuation of thousands. Do we think it's on the scale of Oroville? No. Good news there, but still an ever-present concern. The auxiliary dam in Lake Isabella is leaking underneath due to material that the dam was built from. The emergency spillway connected to the main dam is relatively small. Both of these issues and others are set to be remedied during the construction project, set to kick off towards the end of this year. But for now, they have to watch the dam closely to avoid any potential disasters. If water levels reach gross pool, we're going to be very concerned that we're close to a catastrophic failure. And catastrophic failure means uh, Bakersfield. An auxiliary dam failure would essentially put much of Lake Isabella underwater, and it would then rush into Bakersfield. There's no release of this water to the ocean it will stay there. So um, that makes it a lot more critical. For now, her team doing critical work, feeding numbers daily to the water master in Bakersfield and the water management board in Sacramento. Those numbers led to an increase in outflow today, sending more water down the Kern River and lessening the pressure on the dam. It's a pretty important job. Because obviously there's a lot at stake here. Now, the Army Corps does not step in and control the release of water until it hits Gross Point. You heard Martinez talking about that Gross Pool Point. Gross Pool Point here, as far as elevation goes, is about 2,589 feet. And right now, the lake is about 2,580. So you can see they're pretty close. That is why they're releasing so much water at this time, flowing down the Kern River. And, of course, if it reaches that Gross Pool Point, they're going to step in and basically tell the water management team that they need to release even more water. But for now, from Lake Isabella, Brian Johansson, 23 ABC News.